Welcome back to Rule Living. It's April 30th, I believe. Um, got the disc unhooked. We, I had one more field. Didn't finish that one. He just ended up burning it and we're gonna cultivate it. It's whatever, I don't care. I'm just losing the boss man, grandpa, AKA grandpa. Um, but getting the cultivator hooked up, waiting on him. He's gotta bring me some adapters so I can hook these couplers up. So these are the smaller ones. And uh, so this one right here, I would be able to hook up because, so he's getting some of these. And this, that big one fits in here. But I need these so I can get those small ones in there. So he's going, he's in pot, at Pioneer right now. Um, getting three of them. I only need two of them, but you can go ahead and get three of them because why not? And uh, yeah, and then we're going to start cultivating these fields behind me. Just all of them. See if, see if I can cultivate behind the flamer. Which, so, why I'm here. Um, kind of saw in the last video what it looks like. Uh, I might have a clip I might put in here of it running. But I have no, I don't know if I have one or not. But if I do, I'll put one in. So what it, what it's designed for is for alfalfa. So in alfalfa, you get these bugs and stuff. And what we do with it instead of spraying it. So we basically make organic alfalfa and the cows like that a little more because it's not chemical and it grows a little better but what we do with that is we go through there we light it up it runs off the of propane and it burns it basically burns the ground kills all the bugs and what we're doing with this and it also kills the weeds so that's why we're using it instead of disking it all we're just gonna try that out and go behind with the cultivator and see how it works up and then we can start planting but if it doesn't work very good and it gets clogged up which i don't think it will because it burned most of the stubble off which we're going in the bean ground so i shouldn't bother it too bad but really i think milo ground is where we're going to have our issue so i guess we'll see see when we get to milo ground but we should be good in bean ground because as i don't know if you can see very well but that field is pretty pretty dark that's because all the stubble's burnt up compared to that one over there on well, comparison it's dark right oh right 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 there and yeah so gonna wait on him to get this thing hooked up and then wait on him so i can get it hooked up and then we're gonna go try her out see see how she works so oh yeah one of these days this tractor's gonna get a makeover one of these days i could be in 15 years i could be in a year that could be in fuck who knows so yeah i'm just gonna chill out and wait on him to get here at least it's nice and cool in the shade at least um sitting on top of the hill as you probably hear there's a little breeze so yeah but catch back at you when we get in the field and i get this thing hooked up so we're cultivating working up really good I just did that field. I just want to make sure that it, it did everything good. Uh, hold on, I gotta turn around.
see all the little fires burning burning the weeds and then the stubble so what we're targeting are these vine leaves and yeah just kind of getting the stubble stubble worked up so looks like it's burning quite a bit so he's done most of this so yeah up here on this hill. and then you know, my grandpa's heifers. So yeah. So I want to thank you for uh, watching Rural Living. I hope you have a good morning, a good night, and a good afternoon. And me and Lily, I guess we're doing a TikTok. And uh, me and Lily, yeah, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. So yeah. Bye. Bye.